Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slashkin Android Community, and this is the Sony Smartwatch. It's a, uh, a compact OLED sub display. The idea is that you can wear it either on your wrist using the included uh, watch strap, uh, which it just clips to, uh, or you can indeed clip it to your coat or your bag or anything else that you're carrying around with you. And while your phone's in your pocket, uh, you can still see uh, updates from uh, Gmail, for, uh, incoming calls, calendar entries, that kind of thing. Now, it works with an application on Sony uh, phones. Uh, but you can also download it for other handsets from the Android market and third-party developers can um, check out uh, the SDK and create their own applications. So it's got a very small color OLED screen. Uh, it doesn't show up so great on video, but uh, it's reasonably bright in real life. Uh, direct sunlight uh, does give it a little bit of uh, trouble. Now the screen does respond to multi-touch. You saw before that I used a two-finger pinch gesture to, to go back to the main menu and uh, it uses various scrolling uh, to go through the different apps. So, for instance, we can uh, receive, a, if we receive a call on the phone, so if I just dial um, the Xperia S, uh, you can see that after a few seconds uh, it pops up with uh, whoever's calling. If there was a profile photo assigned, that would come up as well, and you can answer or end the call, though obviously it doesn't have a speakerphone built in, so uh, you can't actually take the call on the uh, the Bluetooth watch itself. Uh, there's also uh, email support, so if I send an email, um, that should eventually pop up with a notification on the on the watch. And it's all working over a Bluetooth 3.0 link with the phone. Uh, and as I said, there are multiple Android uh, apps available to download and install through the Live View Manager uh, on the handset, which uh, eventually. Uh, when Gmail starts to do its thing, uh, you get a list of uh, the latest messages. Now, some of the other um, apps that are available from third parties are quite interesting. There's Endmundo for uh, exercise, but this is quite cool. It's a, a viewfinder app. Uh, it's a little bit buggy, we found, but if it works, it allows you to watch doesn't want to load up. As I said, a little bit buggy, um, but when it works, it basically takes the view from the camera. I don't know if you can see that very well, but we've got the view from what the camera is looking at streamed over Bluetooth, and I can tap the screen to take a photo um, and then they're obviously saved to the phone itself so uh, it's kind of useful for a little remote control sort of uh, hands-free spy kit almost but uh, it is a little bit unstable so developers are still kind of getting to grips with what it can do. Battery life uh, is rated anything from between a, a day of a sort of very active use to um, a, uh, a few days of sort of standby on your wrist. Um, in practice we found that roughly a day or so is is about the most you'll get from it with a persistent Bluetooth link and obviously you have to also take into account the fact that you're uh, using Bluetooth powered on all the time on your phone. It's not Bluetooth 4.0 so it's not the kind of very low power variant. Still uh, it works a lot better than the certainly live view of before. Uh, we like it. Um, it's quite a nifty little accessory. Uh, full review up on the site right now. Thanks for watching.